Hi, this is Dawn Cleary with Real Estate Talk. Today we want to talk about depersonalizing your home when you're ready to sell and why it's important. So you've made the big decision that you want to sell your home and you haven't yet decided exactly where you're going. So you said, I'm going to take a little time and if my house doesn't sell right away, well, that's okay with me. Well, here's the real scoop. If you have made the decision to sell your home, then you need to put every effort into getting it ready to show and sell in the first 30 days that it's on the market. The longer a home sits on the market, the less opportunity you have for getting the best price. How do you do that? Well, you need to depersonalize and you need to declutter, two super important things, and they are a little bit different. So depersonalizing is going to be removing pictures of you and your family that are all over the home. You know, your home is gonna be on display 24 hours a day. When someone does professional photos of your home and they go onto the internet, it really gives people access to look at the details of your home 24 hours a day. Take down photos of your children or parents, grandparents, whatever it may be, because buyers want to see your house as a neutral space. They're coming to see your home to see if they can live there. If you have a picture of Great Aunt Mary hanging onto the wall um, and her feather boa, it could be a little distracting. The buyers may not exactly be able to picture themselves in your house. It also holds true for your decor and your clutter. So let's say that your favorite place in the house is your family room. And your family room consists of your furniture, your TV, and also all of your four-legged children's toys and your two-legged children's toys. Um, and maybe you're a hobby enthusiast and you also have some of your hot rods or you may be an avid hunter and have a gun collection. This should be an easy one, guys. You need to make the space as large as possible, and what you need to do is pull out all of the items that are that personal. Um, small children, when they come with families and they're touring, they tend to get distracted by whatever toy is in the room, and then the parents become distracted trying to rein their children back in so that they can see the house. So, number one, we don't want to detract from your home. Um, and, and with that train of thought, you also don't want a buyer to think, I can't live in this house because it had X, whether it be purple walls with a pink bathroom. How large is your personality in this house? Make sure you neutralize it. Make sure you make the space as big as you possibly can by reducing the amount of furniture and then reducing the amount of clutter, making sure that bathroom cabinets, counters, um, and kitchen cabinets and counters are clean and sparkling as this is where a lot of folks will spend their time. Also, make sure the backyard and the front yard are um, on the best of show. Make sure you've picked up all dead flowers, that pots that may be out there, anything that might be hanging out with the pups and their favorite spaces outside so that, again, others can see your home in the best light and um, visualize themselves living there. Hope this helps. This is Dawn Cleary with United Real Estate. If you were in the Columbia, Lexington market of South Carolina, I would love to help you find your way home. Thanks.